for tuning in. Welcome back to another video. Today I have the pleasure of being joined by master perfumer Olivier Cresp. So thank you so much for taking the time today. Pleasure. Mm -hmm. I really appreciate you. it. Pleasure yeah, of to course. spend some time with you, uh, explaining how with uh, Anid we created uh, that uh, wonderful uh, fragrance. Right, yeah. And so Olivier is one of my favorite perfumers. Of course, he's done Angel by Mugler, Noel by Cacharel, yes. Versace Mano Fresh. I love wearing that one in the summertime. And so today we'll be discussing the brand new release by the company Parfum de Marly. And uh, this one is called Sedley. So in my video, I mentioned that this is one of the freshest offerings from Parfum de Marly. And that's because it has the Hesperides opening with the, uh, the cold extraction of the citrus fruits. And so would you mind telling us what was your experience like working with Parfum de Marly? So for, first of all, um, I'd like to say that uh, with Firme Niche, uh, I'm based in, in Paris, and uh, I go um, uh, quite often in Dubai working with uh, Hamid Meraki, mm -hmm. who is um, a very talented perfumer. I have uh, lots of uh, respect for him yeah. because he creates uh, his creativity is uh, is very high, but as well he's uh, uh, creating very very strong fragrances. And uh, among the uh, DNA of Parfum Marly, you will see that in common. Uh, they have feminine and masculine fragrances. Yeah. Very, very strong uh, strengths, diffusion, long-lastingness are keys to uh, launch on, on the market and uh, to make a, a successful fragrance, you see. Yeah. And uh, together with, uh, with Anid, we, we have been uh, working with Julien Pacha, who is the, uh, the owner of uh, Parfum Marie. Right. And uh, I have to say that Julien could have been uh, a very good perfumer <laughs> because he uh, is gifted. You know, he feels the uh, the market. He knows exactly uh, what to give. And uh, so far, I mean, uh, over those those years, they haven't done uh, any mistakes. You see? That's wonderful. And, and among the, um, I mean, the 30, 32 fragrances uh, around the table, I have to say uh, you have you have plenty good fragrances. It's mm -hmm. hard to make a a choice because they are so good, you know. Of course. Uh, diffusion, quality, quality is key also because using the best ingredients helps to to give also some some strength to the to the fragrance. So I remember three years ago uh, we had a, a discussion at the beginning over the phone uh, in the portfolio of Parfum Marie. They were maybe missing uh, some freshness, you know. All the fragrances are fresh. But working only on freshness mm -hmm. is a, a very nice challenge. And over the, the, the years, the, the months, together with uh, Amid, we have been uh, achieving something uh, which we can say a masterpiece, you know. Uh, because it's not easy on the one side to keep the freshness, the sparkling effect, you know. But in order to have that strength that we need on, uh, on skin, you know, then you need to, to use some uh, um, woody, musky uh, ingredients yeah. to, to sign the fragrance. And uh, there is a right balance, nice balance, between the, the freshness and the warmth, you see. And if we go deeply um, in, the, uh, in the fragrance, I brought with me some facets of the, the fragrance that I'm going to show. Okay, yeah, I'm excited. Yeah. I've been reading up on it with the Ambrox Super and the Cashmere on and so... Yeah, sure, sure. Ambrox, it's, uh, it's uh, always uh, good uh, because it's uh, attracting men and women, you know. It's, mm -hmm. uh, as, as soon as we, we are using, let's say, 5%, 10% in our compositions, then we know uh, that we have already in the dry down, in the bottom of the fragrance, yeah. uh, something very, very nice, uh, intriguing, Attractive, uh, <laughs> very sensual. Okay, so we go. We go with the, uh, the the bergamot. The bergamot is a uh, special a crop. Uh, it's growing. Uh, the bergamot is growing in uh, in Italy, in uh, Calabria, mm -hmm. uh, in the south of Italy, and um, we are of course one of the best qualities ever done in the world. But in fact, the uh, secret is. To use Thank you very much. To use only one part of the uh, oh my God. of the bergamot. You see, you have you have three parts in the bergamot. You have the top, the middle, and oh. the dry down. And yeah. that one, we've been using the, the the bergamot fraction top, which smells 
a little bit uh, like freesia okay and as well fruit you see oh, a little bit fruity okay. you know so so uh, itself it's a uh, it's a fragrance already you know so yeah and that and and that mini minimalist fragrance uh, this uh, minimalist formula um, you will see that each ingredient is playing um, you know uh, mixing very well the top is mixing very well with the uh, floral the floral is uh, mixing very well with the uh, woody ingredients as well it's just so natural so bright and effervescent yeah we can say it's fizzy wow. fizzy sparkly yeah uh, very fresh uh, Smiley, you know, it's, it's yeah. uh, makes you uh, happy already. There's like, like a very organic component to it. Yeah, and that, sure. I think that that in combination with a lot of the aromatic notes really makes that really stand out for me, and that's why I love it so much. Yeah, the quality is uh, really key, and uh, no doubt we we are very proud with uh, Hemi to 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 have achieved Sidley with a with nice bergamot. I'm going yeah. to show you something else, which is a, a mint. Okay. It's a, a mint spicata. Uh oh, and this is one of my favorites. <laughs> <laughs> and I this, love spearmint, peppermint. And, yeah, and this one is a uh, is uh, produced. It's growing in uh, in Oregon, you know. Okay. And uh, you, you will see the the quality as well is uh, unique, very rare. And we had a, a partnership uh, one year ago with a with a company with an American company. And uh, I can say that in, a, in our palette, in the Firmenich palette. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That one uh, is, gorgeous. Is, is a special one, blends very well with bergamot, make it very fresh. Wow. It is, uh, wow. you know, it's a spearmint, uh, spearmint mint, and um, reminds you a little bit of, uh, you know, the uh, Hollywood uh, chewing gum a little bit. Uh, that, yeah, that it thing. does. I can definitely see that comparison. This is very bright, it's fulfilling. It really opens up your nasal passages. <laughs> exactly, wow. exactly. So, um, creating mm -hmm. fragrances uh, is not only using the, the, the best ingredients, right. um, the best natural ingredients. We have to mix them as well with molecules, special molecules. So in this formula, we are, we are lucky because we have uh, three, four, uh, um, ingredients which are totally uh, captives, you know. Mm -hmm. We call them uh, our nuggets, uh, you see. And uh, I'm going to show you uh, one today. It's called Hivernal Neo, and that one gives uh, a special effect. It's a cool effect, you know. Because okay. don't forget that at the beginning of the project, the brief, we wanted to uh, to create something extremely fresh, not splashy. But something sparkling, um, again fizzy, mm -hmm. and uh, and the, the bergamot blended as well with uh, lemon and grapefruit. Now we have mint, and that one Thank you. is going to give you a kind of a dewy effect, you know. Oh yeah. Like you 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 walk in the morning, um, seven o'clock in the fields, and suddenly you see the the grass is. Uh, a bit, a bit wet, uh -huh. and uh, you, you can, you can, you have that special feeling, um, that watery, slightly ozonic as well, and that helps also blended with the mint. I can and, see that. And the bergamot, we have, the, we have the story, we have the, the, the top of the fragrance. Oh, that's so unique, and that just kind of conveys like a sense of nature. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Sure. And when we say. Uh, Molecule, wow. it's not at all uh, uh, pejorative. I have to say, uh, you, we, are, we are working with uh, some molecules within uh, Firme mm -hmm. which are sometimes even more expensive than uh, natural ingredients. Yeah. You see? So it's a, a good combination with the naturals, with the uh, molecules, we, we have almost all the colors of the uh, rainbow. And I would imagine it's also more versatile to work with a single molecule as opposed to a natural ingredient. Yeah, yeah, okay. true, totally true. And um, as uh, we said before, uh, in order to, uh, to keep that freshness, wow. we wanted to combine it with uh, something, you, you know, a very wide, very uh, powerful, um, very, very, uh, um, you know, very, very new as yeah, well. Right. Very new as well. 
And then I'm going to show you something else, which is uh, called cashmere wood. Okay. And cashmere wood, we've been uh, using it five years ago, but uh, our research and, uh, and depart uh, our research and development, they are they kept working on uh, on that molecule in order to improve it, mm -hmm. to to make it even more more pure. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is gorgeous because uh, that ingredient, which is oh my god, musky, wow. woody. Uh, as well slightly uh, spicy, you know, uh, is extremely pleased by uh, men and women. And uh, as soon as uh, we use, let's say, five, seven, eight percent, and this is uh, eight percent in uh, our perfume, uh, Sedi, wow. um, that makes the fragrance really unique. Yeah, this is such an incredible ingredient. Just being able to smell it in its individual state and being able to de deconstruct sure, the fragrance. Sure. I mean, you really see um, in a more clear view what kind of a role it plays in the overall yeah. composition. Yeah. The thing is, um, it's better better to to it's it's complicated to make uh, things simple. Yeah. But the, that the, that fragrance has maybe 20, 25 ingredients, and the uh, the key in order to be successful. It's blending the, the fragrance in a way that you will see all the facets. Yeah. You see? So we people are not going maybe to say it's bergamot, but they, they are going to say it's citrusy, it's fresh, you know. Right. The mint, no doubt they are going to recognize it, you see, because it's everywhere. We use it in uh, in cooking, we do, we use it when we walk also in the in the in the fields and so on. Yeah, very poignant, very nostalgic. A lot of people are familiar with it. Yeah, exactly. And uh, I'm going to show you uh, another one, which is uh, also a <laughs> terrific incense. Okay. Uh, it's also a special quality that is produced in, uh, in our factory okay. down, down in Grasse. Grasse is the, the cradle of perfumery, uh, uh -huh. of course. And uh, we have a beautiful uh, um, company there where we are um, finding new extractions. Uh -huh. And this is a, a kind of pilot uh, incense uh -oh. that okay. we have been produced <laughs> only for Parfum Marley. Uh, for, oh, wow. Yeah. Similar to Olibana, right? It is similar. Oh, it is, yeah. yeah, very well. Uh, it, it is similar to uh, Olibanum um, Labdanum as well. OK. But the thing is, it's more smoky. You see, so, yeah. so it's it's a, it's a little bit more dark. Uh, so we have freshness on top, with lots of uh, colors, and then on the dry down of the fragrance, we have uh, something, you know, um, more sensual with the cashmere wood, with ambrox. Uh -huh. Very good. You you wow. smell in the in the fragrance ambrox, and the incense. Incense is a uh, resinous, li little bit uh, labdanum, mm -hmm. olibanum. And that quality brings a, a smoky effect, which uh, which is uh, and which uh, sign also the fragrance. I absolutely love the smell because in my, in my experience, frankincense kind of has like a lemony pine smell. Yeah. Whereas I totally get that smoky touch that you're sure, talking sure. about in this one. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Wow, such a complex scent. You wouldn't think so because it's so bright and fresh and it's so uplifting and it's so versatile and easy to wear. But then you deconstruct it and you see just how many facets and nuances are contained therein. Yes. It's really, really fascinating. Yeah, yeah, because uh, we have always to consider uh, in a, in a uh, perfume the top, the body, yeah. the uh, dry down. And uh, as you are saying, every time you can notice, you can discover, uh, first, first of all, the, the bergamot. Then you can you can smell the mint, you see uh -huh. the watery effect, which is new. Totally I'm smelling new. the mint now, yeah. And, and now the cashmere wood with incense. Of course, been using some musk uh, uh, on the side. Yeah. Been using the ambrox, which wasn't mentioned uh, uh, this morning. Yeah. Uh, but uh, the thing is, uh, our uh, perfumery is also evolving. You see, the way we were working, uh, let's say, ten years ago was a little bit shy. Today, uh, we, we are daring more, and we are, let's say, uh, Ambrox, before it was half percent. Right now, now in this formula, it's 10 percent. And we see, we need, we need strong ingredients to, um, I mean, to, well, to please the consumers. Yeah. 
And uh, this one uh, re really um, is, as, uh, is, is for men and, uh, and, and women. It has no, no gender. And we're going to, to smell it if you want now. Can we put up? I'm wearing like 20 sprays of it, but I would love to smell it. Yes, of course. Okay, because I'm sure you're going, you're going to smell it uh, differently. I will, you know, and I was thinking about it while you were going over the notes because one of the more emotional connections that I had with it, and I mentioned this in my video, is it kind of reminds me of my heritage. And I spent many years living in Europe, in Greece. And so my grandmother used to cook a lot using a lot of, you know, spices and aromatic ingredients. So there's basil and rosemary and thyme. And, and I know this one does contain rosemary in it, right? Yeah, it has, <laughs> it has, it has as well some uh, rosemary. But nevertheless, we didn't want to make any fougère. Okay, see? sure. Uh, so we didn't use any lavender. We didn't use any uh, geranium. And um, I think it's, a, it's a really something fresh. Um, it's not a cologne even. Huh? The, I don't want to say the, the Cologne is um, a bit old-fashioned. Uh -huh. uh, this one is, a, is really a, a bouquet of citrus yeah. uh, combined with some aromatic notes, if I have to describe it, okay. uh, blended with, uh, with wood, you see. Mm -hmm. Modern wood as well, you see. I would love to try it. Sure, <laughs> sure, sure. So, I'm going, going to... Okay. That one, as it is. Thank you. But, but, but true... Um, that, that's right, you know, for example, the uh, incense for me reminds me to the, uh, to the church uh, when I was young. I was going to the uh, cathedral in, uh, in, in Graz and uh, uh, well, every, everywhere uh, on Sunday we were smelling the uh, incense, you know, and uh, it's, uh, it's back to every memory, uh, you know, it's very special. That is the most powerful effect that I think fragrance can achieve. Yeah, sure. Yeah. So you see the, 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 the fragrance is, so a, is stretched, you see, from, from, from top to the uh, dry down. You don't see heaviness. It is uh, hairy, it is uh, breezing, yeah. it is uh, you know, moving with lots of colors on, uh, on top. Yeah. You see, it's like, uh, it's like the uh, Eiffel Tower, more or less, you see. There are so many dimensions to it. It's a citrus that really lures you in, and you can't help but focus on the citrus and the grapefruit and the lemon and the bergamot. And then, but the spearmint is always there lurking Spearmint's underneath. Yeah. So like yeah. I said, it kind of opens up your nasal passages. But now that I've smelled the incense raw material, now my nose is gravitating towards that. Because sure, sure, I can sure. certainly yeah. pick that up yeah. on the base. You're focusing on, uh, on that one, yeah, you see? And, uh, and usually the, uh, the incense is, uh, wow. is dark. Uh, but there is, um, you know, a great possibility, a large possibility, because with that freshness, we can use. We could have used. Uh, we tried some some patchouli, but yeah. it didn't work, you know. So most of the time, we work also by feeling, you know, uh, together with amid. Sometimes we, we cannot explain why we are blending the uh, uh, bergamot fraction with the with the the mint, you know, because we tried some uh, peppermint, but peppermint didn't work. But that one, which is very special, it works very well. Yeah. Right. It's amazing. Olivia, I really want to thank you so much for taking the time out of your busy day to guide us through the creative process of Sedley. And I personally find this to be an amazing fragrance. It's certainly going to be at the top of my list when it comes to my summertime perfume. So thank you very much for the opportunity. It means a lot. Thank you uh, for sharing uh, <laughs> uh, my vision. Uh, thank you very much. I appreciate my, it. Of course, my pleasure. And for those of you watching at home, if you had the opportunity to try Sedley, I would love to know what you think. Leave a comment down below. Once again, this is a Nordstrom exclusive fragrance worldwide. So I'm going to leave the information down below if you are interested in either sampling it or purchasing it for yourself. Also, if you are new to this channel and you took some value from it, please do consider subscribing. Thank you all so much for watching. Stay fragrant. Love you guys. And we'll see you in the next episode. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.